Oh, some backfire action. Indigestion, maybe. on a Saturday morning and I'm about to head to Cars and Coffee uh, in the Nikki, which I've just washed. I didn't bother shamming it off because um, the paint isn't particularly fantastically uh, worth rubbing off, uh, wiping off. Uh, I'll let the air dry it as I drive along. But the big question is, will it start and how noisy will it be? Let's find out. Let's turn on the choke. Right, well we pulled over in this quiet little side street so I can have a chat without bothering anyone and let the engine run. Just driving it now to dry it off and it's already started that process. Um, as I was driving along the triangle window was helpfully dripping drips on my knee. I'm sure that's a problem that everyone in Poland is well and truly used to. Water sneaks in past the top of the driver's door past what I presume is a misaligned seal or a place seal or just movement over time. Just enough to uh, wet the seat. So I've got a little rag on there on the very edge where it just got a bit, a bit wet. But uh, the car's been running well. I'm about to take it on the highway again. In fact, it's now time to consider whether I can break my own record for the freeway on-ramp traffic light race. Now I think the record stands at around 37 seconds so let's see how we go in terms of taking that on. It's very early in the morning so I should be able to get that treasured right lane and give it a burl down the ramp. The only thing is the other day when I took out the Mighty Boy there was a kangaroo on said ramp. Now I'd expect to see kangaroos around here but not so much on a ramp next to a freeway, but it was there, you can never tell. Anyway, let's go and see. Turns on half a dime. Van man, what's a piece of me? Traffic Light Grand Prix is approaching, so I've got to prepare for it, and that means waiting for this startled guppy. Okay, window up. If there are too many vehicles at the traffic lights and I can't get a good uh, run down the right lane, I'll come back and have another go. Well, I caught up to you, Van Man. Cars, cars everywhere. I'm going to come back and have another go. Okay, let's get this baby to a 360, on the roundabout that is.
green light ahead has cleared the traffic. The right lane is mine. And somebody in a red Mazda 2 is right behind me. I'm sorry, but you're going to be disappointed. Unfortunately, I had some random surging on the on-ramp there, like I used to have before we fiddled with the carburetor float. I don't know why that is, but uh, now that it's a hundred, it seems to be happy. I told you you'd regret getting behind me. Apart from that little hiccup going down the on-ramp, car hasn't played up on the trip down so whether the force of taking the corner quickly to begin the time trial has given the carburetor some grief or something I don't know it did backfire twice though one one time quite uh, loudly and the second one just as I came on the highway I'll have to do some more digging on that that's only happened since Hard work and the lights are out here probably because of an accident and yes there are police controlling the place but no no accident just perhaps a power outage not sure thankfully not my problem brakes are still bubbling and pulsing as I go uh, long, even after being worked on. Oh well. It's something that only happens when I go to stop though. I think there's a link there.